I bought this old metal milk can at a yard sale yesterday for only five bucks. I also found a bunch of rough mahogany boards in my stash. Don't even know where I got it from. But today seems like a good day to make something cool out of junk. Let's go. To prepare the can for painting, I start by using my Harbor Freight Sandblaster. The medium I'm using is baking soda. It starts off pretty well, but then the sandblaster starts to sputter. Not sure why exactly, but I'll fix it later and switch over to my orbital sander to finish the job. I then apply some OSPO, which is a rust treatment, to the whole can, especially the bottom. The next day, I'll clean the surface with some paint thinner and then prime the can. I first sprayed the can silver. The original color was probably a silver, but this paint just looked too shiny and new. I didn't like it, so I sanded the surface and repainted it a metallic blue. Yesterday, I was cleaning out my garage and I came across this garden wood timber. I was about to throw it out, but I decided just to keep it. I've been saving it for 10 years. And wouldn't you know, today, I've got a use for it. So guys, when your wife says, what are you saving that for? Throw it out. <laughs> guys, we know why. I cut and sanded the wood until it started to fit in the opening of the can. The lid was missing on this can, which is why I've got to get creative here. I'll insert the log into the can all the way to the bottom, and then I'll screw the top right into the log.
Not bad for a $5 milk can from a yard sale and some scrap wood. You can use this for a nightstand, an end table, or even a stool. At first I wasn't sure about the color, but it's kind of growing on me. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom, and this is Alley Picked.